What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of a Super Cooper Sunday! Coop, come here! What's up Coop? What are you doing? Why? Oh, Coda, hello! Oh, you're being involved today. Well, that is extra important because what are we doing today, Chels? Coda's special day! Oh my gosh, Coop, we love you buddy, but you had your special day a couple of weeks ago. Today is all about Coda. So you guys remember, a couple of episodes ago, Cooper's special day. We did boating, we did swimming, we did ice cream, we did basically his favorite things throughout the day. Today, we're gonna be doing Coda. So we're gonna be doing some brushing, we're gonna play some chase, we're gonna go for a ride, we might get some ice cream, we might do some cuddling upstairs in the bed, which he's only been up there like twice, I think. I don't know, it's gonna be a pretty exciting day. Not really exciting, but exciting for him. And, uh, oh, look at this over here. Hold on a second, we've got Astro Cat coming around the corner. She's on a mission. So we do have some updates for you guys and we're actually, we are gonna start getting super consistent over on the Super Cooper channel for behind the scenes videos. So if you guys haven't subscribed over there, make sure to do so. It's the top link down in the description. We have a video coming out this Wednesday about Bella getting spayed, which is why she is currently in her little Astro Cat uniform. She's got the cone of shame on. Next week, we're gonna be doing an episode where we're all wearing cones, which is gonna be <laughs> insane. So that's gonna be really fun. But uh, yeah, we've got that. And then we also have, we haven't really told you guys this yet, but Coda, if you guys remember last year, he was diagnosed with diabetes insipidus, which means that he constantly thinks he's thirsty. And as you guys have seen over the past few weeks, it started to kind of go downhill again. Like he started to become a little bit more obsessed with water. So we felt like we weren't doing a good enough job. We felt like we needed a second opinion and we're gonna have a behind the scenes video for you guys soon on that. But basically we got new medicine and he is doing better. So I'm hoping today he's gonna have a lot more energy and I'll have some more fun on this episode. We'll see what happens. But uh, regardless, first things first, because this is the most important thing out of everything else. You look like the, the queen of pets right now. What's up Daenerys? <laughs> He's looking at us. I can see his eyes just barely, barely peering over. But um, anyway, uh, we are going to be starting with a brush because he's going to have to get in the car. He's going to run around. We don't want hair everywhere. We're going to start with a brush. It's one of his favorite things. Let's go to the dock. Do you want to be brushed? Do you want a brush? Come on, let's go get a brush. Let's go, come on. What she got over there? She's getting something from the pantry. What's she getting, Coda? He kind of knows it might be something good. Oh, man. I hope she's rummaging around. It could be a treat. It could be the vacuum cleaner. Or it could be a brush. Oh, my gosh. We're getting a brush today? Coda has two favorite B words in this house. Boat and brush. We just did a boat episode and we have more boat episodes coming up soon. I feel like a boat on his perfect day might work too, but I think we're gonna do the car instead just because he hasn't been on a ride in a while. But like I said, I mean, we have, we have a new swimming platform for Coop to be able to re-enter the boat when we're out in the water, which we're gonna be setting up and doing soon. So, Coda will get a boat ride then. Anyway. He was just sniffing it. He's waiting for somebody to open the door. We're it's, not going on a ride, buddy. It's time to, uh, to get a brush in. It looks like we skinned a sheep or something. I, I don't even know. It's still over here. It's over here in the weeds. It's going into our neighbor's yard. Sorry, chill. My goodness, Coda. How does one dog get a butt so floofy? I, I <laughs> just don't, Coda. He literally doesn't, like I'm hardly pulling here. It doesn't bother him one bit. No, it feels good. And you can literally just pull this hair out and it just doesn't stop. Coda, come on. Come on, good boy. Let's go inside. Part two of the best day ever. Let's go. Come on. After you get all streamlined, you know what the second step is? What? Drop weight, baby. He's getting ready for the exciting second part of the day. Coda was out in the backyard and didn't have guard duty, but that's okay. Astro Cat was watching, <laughs> making sure everything was under control. Bella! Bella! What's up, baby? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
What you're currently watching is a puppy meltdown. So we've recorded a few videos in this house that weren't Super Cooper Sunday recently. Yeah. He's seen the camera many times, and then now today, this episode is not as much about him. We probably could have timed this better. But he needs to learn how to share the spotlight with good old Coda. Coda, Coda's still watching the door. We have to be safe. Coda, are you ready for part two? So you guys know Coda is not a toy dog. He's not a fetch dog. He's not a go to the park dog. Like he likes to walk for like a block and then he's kind of done. However, there is one activity that he likes. Maybe actually besides the treadmill, he kind of liked the treadmill. The other thing he likes is to chase and be chased. <laughs> Get him, Coda. Come on. Get him, Coda. Come on. Go get him. Go. Coda, he knows, he knows he's not supposed to jump on the table. Oh, he's coming. You did it, Coda! You are so tough. Are you gonna bite me? Are you gonna oh. bite me? Are you gonna bite? Ah, you got me. Ah, 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 you got me. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. Good boy. I'm tired. You gotta be tired too, right? No, do it again. A much deserved bowl of water for a good chase session, right, Coda? You did a good job there, buddy. Hello, Miss Astro Cat. Where are you going? I just love her little head bob. She walks kind of like with a limp, like a pimp. That's her pimp walk, you know what I mean? Bella, Bella, what are you, oh, you're just gonna go knead that mat? Well, unfortunately, we are gonna have to go in your little spaceship. You're gonna have to go on another mission because we're gonna go get some ice cream with brother. In she goes, good girl. Just gonna put you in there for now. So it's, oops, sorry. It's been two and a half days since she was spayed. She's supposed to keep the cone on for a week. Honestly, she seems pretty good. She seems pretty much back to normal. Again, we're gonna have a full video on all that for you guys, but just know that's why we're putting her in there. We don't want her to get out and cause any trouble and her and Coop like to get in trouble, so. Coop, we'll see you later. We love you. We might bring you back a treat, maybe. I feel like it should be a solo Coda ride, though. Like, Cooper kind of tends to take up the back seat, so I think this is gonna be all about him. I have the truck set up, got the AC blasting and everything. I turned it sideways in the driveway, and the back door's already open, so I'm hoping it's a straight shot. We usually have to go pee on the bush, but we're gonna see if we can do straight shot to the truck this time. Go, 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 go. Straight to the truck, straight to the truck, straight to the truck, right there. That big old, nope, nope, cut up, 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 to the truck. Come on, go. Good boy. Oh my gosh, we just swerved the bush. Go, good boy. Go ahead. Coda, hey. Coda, Coda, go to the truck. Good boy. Coda, go, go to the truck. Go for a ride. Good boy. I think he's shocked. He's in disbelief. Come on, go. Coda, go. Make sure this big fluffy tail doesn't get shut in the door, okay? Good boy. We decided to call an audible. Coda, it's your special day out with us. You can't tell Coop, okay? Coda, you hear me? He's too worried where, about where are you? Gonna you, come bring you can't it. tell Coop. We stopped at Chick fil A and we got a 12 count nugget. So we got some chicken nuggets on the way. He loves them. Babe, you know what I just realized? The Chick fil A logo, yeah. if you filled in the chicken head, it looks like a paw print. Yeah, just a little bit. Aww. What do you think about that, Coda? Those you like chicken, chicken nuggets? Chickens for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Good boy, Coda. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. 
All right, Coda, you ready, buddy? Like we said, oh. <laughs> this this does not leave this truck. We don't make another mention of this because we did not get any for Coop. We wanted Sorry, to give him baby. kind of like a little a little special treat. Whoa, look at those delicious chicken nuggets. Good boy, Coda. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Good boy, Coda. That's a big one. Oh, so nice. Are you even chewing? Now, Coda, can I can I have one? No. I'm gonna have one. You ready for this, Coda? <gasps> Dad, this one's very small. French fry? Usually he doesn't like french fries, but it looks like he's in the french fry mood today. All right, anyway, enough of that uh, fast food unhealthiness. Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> Dude. Like They're all gone. <laughs> hey, what you got in that bag, Mom? No more. What you got in there? You wanna get some ice cream? Let's get some ice cream, buddy. Chelsea is currently up there getting two small vanillas for the boys, I'm assuming, and then one for us. Meanwhile, Coda and I are just chilling, and uh, he's he's still thinking about French fries. Oh, what do you have? Wait, why are there four? <laughs> Cooper, Coda, me, and you. Oh, I thought we were sharing one. Okay, well that's fine. Do you get them peanut butter? Yes. Oh, I thought you were gonna get vanilla, but peanut butter sounds even better, right, Coda? Should we give him a uh, a little taster before we go home? Sure. I feel like it's better to kind of eat this on the pool deck where it's not gonna cause a huge mess, but he's got uh, his lover boy eyes on right now. Oh, he's so excited. Just watching, waiting, anticipating, loving. Are you ready for this slap fest? Oh, here we go. Good boy. Also, you guys missed it. When we were waiting, I didn't have the camera on the whole time. A guy pulled up to our left, and he opened up his door straight into the truck. Now, the truck is kind of like the daily beater. I'm not really worried about it. It happens. If it was a GTR, I'd probably be upset, but Coda, started barking and you said you could hear him up there <laughs> i heard him barking at oh the my gosh he like as soon as the door hit he started barking at that dude so good job coda you're you're nice and scary you probably think that's why he's getting the ice cream it's right because he like defended the truck he protected no matter where he goes he protects <laughs> you think he's ready he's born ready we've got one of them bunny hopping and the other one snortling Snortling nonstop. What's up, Coop? We missed you, buddy. See, we told you we weren't gonna do anything without you. We got your ice cream, we came home, that's all we did. Cooper, stay. Okay, here we go. Stay. Stay, both of you. Good boys. Not yet? All right, whatever, go ahead. Good boys. We love ice cream. Oh, Coda's spilled. Uh, that's exactly why we didn't eat it in the truck. Coop's actually doing a really good job. No, we just drink. Oh, I missed it. My goodness, what an exciting day. We're gonna go enjoy ours, and then we have one more plan for tonight that's gonna blow his mind. So it's the end of the day. We had a fantastic day today, yes. and we are gonna cap it off with something special. He's been up there the day we bought the house, we took him up there, and I think we took him up one other time. For the Q&A. For the Q&A, oh yeah, the Q&A on the bed. Coda, you are gonna be going upstairs. Now, typically, he doesn't really love it up there. He definitely prefers to be down here in the nighttime because he likes to be able to see out the windows and walk around and that sort of thing. Not to mention, he's a little afraid of heights. So, we're gonna do this quickly. I don't want to stress him out too much, but we're going to take him up there and we'll see if we can cuddle in bed. And I think he will enjoy it once he's up there, but the whole process of getting him there is kind of a hassle, which is why we don't do it every night. Come on. Come here. He already knows some sketchy stuff is going on. Oh, oh, he thinks... That's not what we're doing. <laughs> Come here. He thinks you're going to play chasing it. Oh. Here All right, go. here we go. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. That's all we need. How much does he weigh? I don't even know anymore. Maybe 85 or something? Close oh, yeah. to. I apologize for the overly messy room. We're rearranging and reorganizing the closet. This is literally a pile of trash. 
we were going through it earlier today. So you guys will have to forgive us for that. But look at that. That's Koopy's bed. He doesn't sleep in it. He sleeps in the main bed. Koda, come here. Koda, this is an, a new bed. It's taller and bigger than it used to be. Come on, can you get up top? Can you get up there? Oh, look at that, my goodness. Also, like we, we're, girl, this room needs some work. This lights out, three of the four lights in the closet are out. I think we can turn these up here on. Oh yeah, there we go, that's a little bit better. Good boy, Koda, what do you think? Do you like it up here? It was really scary trying to get up here, but once you're up here, it's not so bad, right? You know, it would be nice if somebody could learn to walk up the stairs because it would alleviate all of these problems. He's currently going to look for water. Uh, 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 uh. No, sir. But yeah, dude, I'm serious. If you learned how to walk up the stairs, you could come here. You could come here every night if you wanted to. Come on, come on. Oh, runaway train. Oh my oh, whoa. goodness. Whoa, he, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Good boy. Nice, Koda. You don't need to be on top of him. Good. Boy, that's, a, oh yeah, that's yeah. a big butt. If he learns the stairs, we're gonna need a bigger bed. With just Cooper alone, this king size bed isn't enough some nights. It, well, <laughs> actually, I take that back. I sleep pretty well, she doesn't. Cooper <laughs> Cooper takes up like 80% of her side of the bed. So, uh, I don't know, this this would be nice. I would like this if we could do this every night, but. I just, I, 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 don't, I don't think, I don't think we could carry Coda up every night. I think it'd stress him out and. I think I'd probably throw my back out, but maybe one, I mean, we've we done like trying to teach Coda to swim. Maybe we could do a trying to teach Coda the stairs episode. I mean, we can try, but he wouldn't even go up the stairs for like food. Yeah, oh. I, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, Coda. Hopefully you enjoyed your amazing, wonderful day. We had a lot of fun with you. Yes, you're a good boy. Um, we are going to see you guys. Next week for the episode with all the cones and everything, Coda is going to get comfortable and uh, we, we are just going to have a nice night and cuddle and hang out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.